Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like Hi guys! So, welcome to our um, Adesta TV and ngayon tuturo ko naman sa inyo paano gawin ang tiyatawag nating mirror equation. So, sa mirror equation, meron tayong formula. Okay? Meron tayong formula na 1 over F is equal to 1 over P plus 1 over Q. Where F represents as the focal length. P represented the distance of the object from the mirror and Q represent as the distance of the image from the mirror. Mapansin nyo, di ba? Meron tayong ganito dati. The ray diagram. We have the center of the curvature, the focal point, and the vertex. So, from the focal point hanggang kay mirror, ang tawag natin dyan ay focal length. Then, kung nandito yung object natin, from the mirror, ang tawag natin dito ay um, distance of the object from the mirror. Okay? O, ito naman. Now, kung for example, dito na buo ang ating image, this is the object and this is the image, dito na buo ang ating image from the mirror, ang tawag natin dito ay distance of the image from the mirror. Now, let's have an example. How are we going to complete that? So, we have here an example of a 5 cm tall light bulb is placed at a distance of 45 cm from a concave mirror having a focal length of 10.5 cm. Now, determine the image distance of the and the image size. Now, from here, masasabi natin na now, let me draw on this. For example, this is our ray diagram. Kasi sabi, it is a concave mirror. So, ganito dapat ang itsura niya. So, we have the center of the curvature, and we have the focal point, and we have here the vertex. Now, we're going to apply a what we call the Gressa method. Okay? Where G are representing our given. Okay? What is our given on that? So, from that, mapapansin nyo, we have here uh, what we called our object. So, the height of our object is 5 cm tall. So, for example, nandito yung object natin, sabi siya daw ay light bulb. Kunwari, light bulb to. So, ang height daw ng ating light bulb ay 5 cm tall. Next, we have here a what we called the focal length. What is our focal length? That is 10.5 cm. We have 10.5 cm. Ibig sabihin, from here to here, ang ating focal length ay 10.5 cm. Next, so our, this object, distance of the object from the mirror ay 45 centimeter. Now, let us imagine for example, from the focus hanggang kay concave mirror, it is 10.5 centimeter. Now, let us assume na ang ating center of the curvature and ang, at ang ating focal point ay kasim, same din. So, we have 10.5 plus 10.5. Ibig sabihin, from here to here ay meron tayong 21. Now, let us assume 21 to 21 centimeter. We need 45. 21 centimeter and 21 centimeter, magdagdag lang tayo. So, ina-assume natin na ang light bulb ay nakalocate sa, ang ating object ay nakalocate sa um, beyond or before the center of the curvature. So, nandito. Okay? Now, what is our required? Ano ba ang ating hinahanap? Our required, we're going to find nasaan daw ang determine the image distance. So, we're going to determine the image distance and we're, we're going to determine the size of the image. Okay? Or the height of the image. Okay? So, yan yung po yung gagawin natin. So, ngayon, since meron na tayo nito, we're going to find the letter E. 
So what is our letter E? So our E represent as the equation. Okay? What is the equation? Okay, so ngayon, meron tayong tiyatawag na equation. Our equation would be, so 1 f is equal to 1 p plus 1 q. Okay, so ngayon, we're going to use uh, what we call, since we are looking for, since mahal, inahanap natin ang ating um, distance of the image from the mirror. So, um, ito, ma mapapansin nyo, saan ba dito matatagpuan ang ating image? Is it dito, uh, in front of the mirror, or at the back? Asya ba ay upright or inverted? So, tutulangan tayo ng mirror equation. So, from here, gagamit tayong tiyatawag na reflexive property of equality. Therefore, pagpapalitin natin sila ng position. So, we have 1p plus 1q is equal to 1f. So, hindi pa natin ito nahanap. So, we're going to transpose this one to the right. So, our new equation, we have 1q is equal to 1f minus 1p. Kasi, natinaranspose natin siya to the right. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo ng negative sign. Now, let us substitute. So, 1q is equal to 1f. Ano ang value ng ating f? The value ng at ng ating f is 10.5 cm. We have 10.5 cm minus 1 over p. Ano ang value ng ating p? 45 cm. So, we have here 45.0 cm. Ngayon, gagamit tayo ng tinatawag natin na GCF or the greatest common factor. In our greatest common factor, we're going to have uh, we're going to multiply the denominator. So we have 10.5 cm times 45. What would be our answer? So this time, gagamit tayo na so we're going to compute that. So we have 10.5 times 45. We have 472.5 so we have 472.5 centimeter squared kasi pinag multiply natin ang dalawang centimeter now so 472.5 divided by ito this one 10.5 times 1 we have 45 centimeter so, we have here 45.0 cm minus, so, dito naman sa ating uh, 472.5 cm, um, divide 45 times 1, ang makukuha natin sa sagot ay 10.5 cm. Therefore, if we're going to subtract 45 minus 10.5, Ang sagot ay 34.5 cm. Then, i-bring down natin ang 472.5 here. So, ngayon, since we're going to divide, cancel centimeter, and cancel the another centimeter. Therefore, isa na lang yung matitira. Kaya, we have 34.5 divided by 472.5. We're going to apply the reciprocal method. In reciprocal method, therefore, we have Q over 1, hindi na natin nilalagay ang 1, so is equal to 472.5 cm divided by 34.5 so we have 13.69 or 13.7 cm now let's have an example, so we have 472.5 okay cm divided by what? 34.5. We have 34.5. So our answer is 13.69 or 13.7. Therefore, based on our um, interpolation and our convention, kapag daw, sabi dito, kapag daw ang ating Q ay positive, the image is real. 
image and located on the object side of the mirror. Therefore, ang sagot natin, the image distance is real and at the object's side. Dito, titignan natin, since ito from the focal length hanggang kay mirror siya ay 10.5, since ang sagot natin ay 13.69, 13.7, malalaman natin na ang image pala ay dito na buo. Okay? So, pagitan ng C and F or between C and F. So, 10.5. So, tingnan natin nandito. Now, tapos na ba siya? So, we have 13.7 cm. Pero, hinahanap pa natin ng height. Image. Okay? For the height naman, so, ang height, so, we have here the formula how we're going to get the height of the image. The height of the image, kinukuha natin, height of image divided by the height okay, of the object is equal to the negative um, distance of the image from the mirror divided by the, what? Divided by the, the distance of the object from the mirror. Now, let us substitute height of the image divided by height. Anong height natin? Anong height ng object? Height daw ng object ay 5 cm tall. So, we have here 5 cm is equal to negative Q or 13.7 cm divided by P which is 45.0 cm. Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to apply the cross multiplication. So, we have height of the image multiplied to 45.0 cm is equal to 5.0 cm times negative 13.7 cm. So, we formula na ba tayo ng height? Wala pa. Kasi ngayon, i-divide both sides natin by 45 cm. Therefore, we're going to cancel out we have height of the image is equal to 5.0 cm times 13.7 cm divided by 45 cm. So, meron na tayong formula of the height. So, 5 times negative 13.7. So, we have 5 times negative 13.7. Seven. The answer would be negative 68.5. So, we have negative 68.5, dalawang centimeter, pinag-multiply, there were centimeters squared, divided by 45 centimeter. So, the height would be negative 68.5, divided by 45, so our centimeter, cancel natin, cancel, mayroon tayong negative, so divided by the... 45, we have negative 1.52. So, our answer is negative 1.52 centimeter. That is the height of the image. So, what is our convention or interpolation on that? Sabi dito, sa ating book, sabi dito sa ating book, if the height is negative, the image is inverted. Okay, therefore, the image is inverted. So, kung i-drawing natin, or i-illustrate natin, ang image pala, ang height niya ay inverted, nakabaliktad. At anong height niya? Ang height ng ating image ay 1.52 cm negative. Therefore, kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, pa nag-PPF rate tayo, so, di ba, P, then to F, then to C. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, dito na create ang ating image at masasabi natin na tama pala ang ating qualitative characteristics na ang image, dati sinasabi natin, saan natin natagpuan ang image, ang image ay between 
CNF. Pero ngayon, masasabi natin na ang image ay may sukat na 13.7 cm. Anong ating orientation? Siya ay inverted. Okay? Inverted. Siya ay inverted. Okay? So, ano ang kanyang size? Dati sinasabi natin siya ay small or smaller than the object. Pero ngayon, napatanayan natin na siya ay, ang sukat niya ay negative 1.52 cm. At ang ating object ay 5 cm tall. At ang ating type, since siya ay inverted, nabuo sa harap ng mirror, siya ay real. Okay? So, that's all. All about... Mirror equation. Bye!